Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla and I share lots of Japanese stationery and kawaii journaling content on YouTube and various social media platforms. So for this video, I will be sharing with you my stationery haul from Loft and Daiso Japan. So first, I will share with you the postcards that I got. So this Loft branch that I visited today um, was having like a pop-up market for creators or local artists and these are the designs that i got i don't know if i will be using these personally or i might send these to friends but i just thought that these are so cute that i had to buy them and the price is not isn't too bad it's 110 yen so this one is really colorful i like it and this one is so cute i'm more of a dog lover but i also like cats and i think the illustration is super super kawaii and this one i really like tulips and i want to use this for journaling for my hobonichi techo that's why i bought it this one reminds me of rainbowholic somehow my brand and that's why i bought it and this one too it's so cute I don't know if I'm gonna use this or I will hang this on my wall. We will see. <laughs> and this one is really cute. That's why I had to buy it. I don't know when I will use it, but I want to save it for a special journal with me or maybe a journal setup. So this is Mogno Oru Star Shiru. So All Star, I guess this is All Star. Yeah. I don't know if you pronounce it as M-O-G or M-O-G. Yeah. Next. Um, besides that, I bought some stamps from Loft. So these are the Totoro and Kiki's Delivery Service stamps. Um, I like Totoro more. <laughs> or my neighbor Totoro more than Kiki's Delivery Service. That's why you can see that there's a bias going on. Yeah, so it's so cute. So we have like some stamps and I guess this is like the ceiling wax. I'm not sure if I'm correct or not, but yeah. So it's really cute. Let's try this later. Next one. Um, actually, <laughs> the main reason why I went to Loft is to purchase my first ever fountain pen. Because I got so intrigued by fountain pens recently um it, i think last week or two weeks ago i bought a glass pen and i was kind of afraid if i would regret it but i really liked it and maybe fountain pen is something is another black hole that i will be getting into but anyway i just want to try this i don't know how to set it up i've watched a few videos like tutorial videos on youtube so yeah i hope those would help me <laughs> and then i also bought another ink here because i really like brown ink i prefer using brown ink than using black ink when journaling next one okay so i'm done with my loft haul i'm gonna share with you my daiso japan haul so so pretty so i guess they're going for an aesthetic stationary style so i don't know how to i guess it's i my i my sticker i don't know my sticker photo yeah so only one sticker sheet available per pack you know, I kind of, um, I'm a bit jealous of Daiso Korea because when I went there and I bought some stickers from Daiso Korea, they would always have at least like two sticker sheets per one pack. But here in Japan, only one sticker sheet. So these are the designs. Pink, purple, and then we have like the brown. Very, it's like cozy aesthetic. And then we have the blue one. I, I bought this one because of the rainbow. 
Man, this made me laugh. Because you and me friend zone. I don't know what it means, but yeah. So, if I have any French subscribers, please let me know if this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so I want to use this in the future. Next one would be the washi tapes that I got from Daiso. So, they, uh, they are currently promoting Halloween items as early as now. <laughs> That's how fast is it is here in Japan. So, yeah, when Halloween is over, they're gonna start promoting the Christmas or holiday stuff. And I always look forward to Daiso Japan Halloween stationery selections because they're always unique. So cute. So we have like Halloween cats. So funny. Like the skull is a cat skull. <laughs> And then here we have like a, I think this is like bear, and I like bears, so yeah. So cute. Yeah. So do you have Daiso, Daiso in your country as well? And if you have, do you also get the same selections as Japan or Korea? Please let me know in the comments. Okay, now so let's open the. Pilot Kakuno fountain pen. Actually, I already opened it earlier and I had a mistake. So let's pretend that I'm opening it for the first time. So here. Oh. This is the pen. I don't know the parts of the fountain pen. You can Google that, but yeah oh this is fascinating and this is like the cover i chose blue because um one of my new hobonichi techo covers for the a6 day free is color blue and then you have this and here Pen, Saki, Kubi, Cartridge Ink, and Jiku. This is like some serious business. Wow. What is this? I think I want to try the brown one. Okay. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know how to do this, but yeah. So let's use the brown ink. Maybe we should go over first to press it. Oh. And after that, just have to close it. Then it's done. Oh, I hope. I did that correctly <laughs> I'm not sure but anyway let's give it a try so I'm gonna use this freebie from the Hobonichi Techo event after multiple tries finally I can use this I didn't expect that you know fountain pens can be hard to use for first timers I had to watch a couple of videos before finally getting it right. I really like the feel. And this is what it looks like. So, most fountain pen lovers really love Tomoe River paper. And now I know why. 
So let's try. Okay, so you can see here the pen test. I like it. Actually, I was a bit surprised because I thought that it will be like a brown ink, but it kind of looks like maroon. I'm not sure if it's because I washed this first with water earlier. Yeah. And that's Pilot Kakuno with brown ink. I'm happy with my purchase. And of course, before I end this um, stationery haul video, I wanna try the stamps that I bought with the Iradori pad. So it's like a do donut ink pad from Shachi Hata. So let's try the Totoro with a green ink cute and then let's try kiki <laughs> kiki's the newer service stamp this is Gigi. Nice. And then another Totoro stamp. Let's try the brown one. Nice. And the last stamp. So let's try color purple. Nice. Pretty. So let's check the back. Not too bad. So I recommend this for Hobonichi Techo as well. Okay guys, so I think that is all for um, this chatty stationery haul video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love discovering new stationery items that I haven't tried before. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share it. Thank you so much and have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye.